What's up, y'all? This is Elise Rose, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did this DIY jumbo braid ponytail. As you guys can see, the first product that I used was the Shining Gem by Magic Fingers. And when I tell y'all, I love that product. I love it. You should definitely invest into it if you are, you know, a natural girl and you do your own hair. <laughs> Something I do. But yeah, so the first thing I want to do is just give myself two side braids and that's pretty much how I do it. I'm just showing you guys that it's a really simple process if you know how to French braid already. If you guys want a video in depth on how I French braid, then I'll show you guys. Um, just leave a comment in the comment section letting me know that you want to see that and then I'll definitely give an in-depth tutorial, but it's pretty easy. So after I have finished that braid, <laughs> here comes my dad coming in my mirror, but after I have finished that braid, I am just going to continue slicking the rest of my hair down to get it into the ponytail. Now, my hair is very, very thick, so I'm going to be, <laughs> my dad is so distracting. Anyways, guys, so yeah, I'm just going to continue slicking the rest of my hair down. And my hair is very thick, so I am being very patient with it and just really taking my time to get it into the slick ponytail. As you can see, Shiny Jam by Magic Fingers, you can do multiple things with it. Like, it's so much that you can do. <laughs> you can put your hair in a slick ponytail, you can do your edges, you can part your hair. Anything you want to do, you can do with that. So, I definitely 10 times out of 10, 10 out of 10, recommend this product. So I'm going to increments and I'm sectioning off my hair. The next product that I'm going to be using is the hairdressing pomade by Murray's. And I love this product. Okay, very thick, very, very thick <laughs> for my thick hair. Okay. And what you're going to need to use is just any um, hard bristle brush that you prefer. I prefer this little small handheld one because it's really easy to use. And then just slick your hair up. And I did have my hair in some plaits, um, I'm sorry, some French braids the night before just to stretch it out. As you can see, it did get kind of big. And I just took those down and now I'm just going to keep on going in increments and making sure that my hair gets really slick. I'm very generous with the product while doing so and I'm just combing the product throughout my hair and just making sure it's slicking down. Keep on using those two products, the Shining Jam and the Hairdressing Pomade by Moonrays and then we just going to keep on doing it. And as you guys can see, I did switch my angle just so you guys can get a better view of how it looks from the back side. And all I'm doing is just repeating those same steps by taking my shining jam and just smoothing it on my hair. And then I will be following up with the hair pomade by Murray's. Now this is when I'm just going to gather the hair in this ponytail and I'm going to tightly wrap it around about 
what is this three times that i'm going to try to do the third time was rather hard but if your hair is thick like mine then you know you're gonna have to use a big uh, a jumbo ponytail holder dang i was sitting on a tall stool and i'm still the same height i used two big old scrunchies because my hair is super thick which is a good or bad thing bad because my hands hurt right now but good because i love thick hair thick hair is beautiful So now that I have wrapped it around about three times total, I'm just going to brush the back of my hair and just make sure that everything is smooth. Now next, I'm going to make sure that my real hair is moisturized. By the way, guys, uh-oh, I'm struggling. <laughs> By the way, everything that I'm using will be in the description box down below. You can just click that link and then it will forward you to all the products that I'm using. So next, I'm just going to be separating my hair after I moisturize it. And I'm going to make sure that my hair is very taut and very tight so that this ponytail does not move. Okay, honey, we don't need none of that. And I'm making sure the rest of my hair is really slick. And also, I pulled out my baby hairs earlier. And that's what I'm going to be slicking and laying my edges, as you guys will see, as soon as I get this hair out of the way. And now... <laughs> Now I'm just going to drop my edge control. Anyway, now I'm just going to be using Edge Booster by Style Factor. I prefer using the purple one because it's just what works best for me. Hey, to each his own, you can use whatever works for you. You don't even have to use Style Factor. You can use, shoot, the, the, uh, you can use whatever you want to use. You can use whatever you want to use, but whatever gets your hair, your baby hair, slick the most or whatever works best for you, use that. And I'm just going to... Do what I want to do with my edges. Like, you can get creative with this. If you want them super flamboyant, go ahead and do that. If you want it just a little swoop, go ahead and do that. But as for me, in my house, I'm going to do what I want. Okay. So, y'all can follow along and just copy me. Or you can do your own thing. Whatever works for you. And now I'm just going to be taking my Holy Grail mousse. I love this mousse. I use it every single style. As y'all have seen for the past couple of styles, I use this mousse. The reason I love it so much is because it gets hard fast and it sets your style in place. That way you don't have to worry about any flyaways, any frizziness, anything that can make your style look old fast. So this style lasted me for about a week, I believe a week. And I credit it mostly to this mousse. So the key is to get your wrapping paper and then once you wrap that around your head, you then take your scarf that you lay your edges with and you just go from there. So now I'm just going to be taking my braiding hair that I'm going to use for the ponytail and I wrapped it around already with the ponytail holder and then I secured it around my ponytail. So now you see a different angle and I'm going to be just braiding it into my real hair so that it looks seamless and it flows and it does not look like I'm using any braiding hair. It just looks like it's my real hair. Now what you're going to want to do is just keep adding in braiding hair and keep feeding the hair in. My hair was about an inch thick. I'd say and it just depends on your preference if you want your braided ponytail to be thick then you're going to use 
thick feet in strands but if you want it thin then you're going to make it thinner it's up to you whatever you want i personally like a thicker braided hair because my hair is thick so i rather prefer a thicker braided ponytail than thin because i want it to look as natural as possible although this is extensions and this is fake hair it's not my hair i still want it to look as natural as possible and even with the six i was just testing it out this is my first time doing my ponytail so i actually had to keep starting over to see what it is that i wanted to keep on adding in your hair and if you see that this is the desire that you want then keep it right there now when you get to the end you're just going to take a thin little piece and wrap it around your hair specifically the ends of your hair and then once you get that wrapped you can move on with the next process which would be making the ends curly and that was the boost that i was telling you guys about earlier like i said everything will be in the description box but this is just to customize your ponytail i wanted a curly at the end so i just added a thin yellow flexi rod i forgot where i got those from Ooh, edges are laid okay and added that to the bottom and this is the finished product see you guys in my next video bye